Hey YouTube, it's Lucified again and I'm back for another review, but this week is going to be a little different. Instead of a physical item like a watch or a drone, I'll be talking about some software that I think everybody needs to stay safe on the internet. Now that you've seen what the packaging looks like, we need to briefly discuss just what guarded ID protects you against, and that is a keylogger threat. Now what's a keylogger? Well, if you think it records your keystrokes, well, then you're absolutely right, because that's what it does. Now you can probably imagine this is a pretty big threat because we type everything out on the internet nowadays. Usernames, passwords, banking routing numbers, you know, credit card numbers, social security number. If you get infected with a keylogger and someone takes all that info, you're in a lot of trouble. Now, Guarded ID will protect you against this threat. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, Luce, but what about antivirus? I have antivirus. Everybody's got antivirus. Won't that take care of the threat? And the short answer is maybe. Now, the way antivirus works is it takes a list of blacklisted, you know, viruses and stuff that they've discovered, and then if it finds that item on your computer, it quarantines it and deletes it. But what if someone creates a new key logger, say, today? and they send you an email pretending to be your Aunt Lila showing your pictures of her nice new cats and you're like oh look at these cute little cuddly kittens and the next thing you know Big Bubba in China's got all your info well that's where Guarded ID comes in because it is a is what's known as a zero day threat protection now what do I mean by zero day I mean it protects you on day zero of the attack so as soon as you're infected you're already protected now how could that work well We'll go over to my computer, and I will show you just how. All right, we're back. Now I'm going to show you exactly what I was just talking about. Now, as you can see over here, I have a keylogger installed. Now, like I said earlier, these things are also used for, you know, good purposes. You know, keeping track of what websites your kids are going to, you know, creeping on your significant other if you're about that life. Um, and that's why they're available on, you know, wherever you get software from, you know, download.com, CNET, places like that. They're readily available. You know, I didn't get this from any kind of sketchy website. And I will show you what happens when you're infected with a keylogger. So I just started it up. Let's open up my browser here. And let's say, you know, I'm going to my banking website. Um, I guess I'll do Wells Fargo for this example. You know, I don't bank with Wells Fargo, obviously. I wouldn't be sitting here putting my real information in. So, okay, we're at our Wells Fargo banking site. Let's say we're going to log in. So, we're going to say my username is Lucified, and my password is going to be subscribe. You know, shameless plug. All right, and then obviously it won't work because that's not a real account. But let's go take a look at our keylogger here. So, here's our uh, recording. And let's see. Well, it basically just said we opened up Opera, which is our browser. We went to Wells Fargo in Google search. And then we typed in Lucified, and then there's our password right there. So anybody who's looking at this keylogger that's infected my system knows, you know, what I bank with, what my password is, and what my username is. And that's huge, you know. They just, they could take everything out of my bank account just from a simple program that could be included in an email. Or um, a lot of them use USB drives that they just stick right in your computer steal all your info, come back, take it out later. Um, now, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this. I'll leave this open so you can see. And I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna turn on our guided ID. Now, let's go right back, open up Opera again. And, uh, oh yeah, it's gonna stay right here. So I will just go to Google, just to clear that out. And then we'll go on and we'll go right back to Wells Fargo. All right. And I will get this out of the way so you can see what's going on over here. And you already kind of see something weird going on over there. 
So let's go to our website. Same thing. Username Lucified. Password subscribe. All right. Now let's take a look at what happened. First of all, there's our Google search. Doesn't say what the search was, doesn't say what page I went to, and you'll see that the Wells Fargo has now been encrypted with random numbers. Sorry about the cut, I had an unexpected interruption, but like I was saying, as you can see, when I type things in, it the program Guarded ID encrypts them with random numbers and characters. So even if you become infected with a keylogger and your antivirus doesn't catch it, nobody can steal your information. And I'll do it one more time live just so you can see what happens when I type this stuff in. So we'll do Lucified and Subscribe. And as you can see over here, same thing. Different set of numbers, different symbols, and uh, it doesn't even do like the same length of the word. So they can't even guess how long the word you typed is. And there's no pattern to any of these numbers. As you can see, these are all just different strings of numbers right here. And that's the best part. And uh, like I said, this will then give your antivirus time to you know catch up and find the keylogger and remove it. But while that's happening, you will be protected. Now that's some pretty scary stuff, am I right? I was, it blew my mind the first time I saw it. Everything printed out there and open for everyone to see. But I was really surprised with how Guarded ID handled it too. Like, no joke. You know, I'd never even heard of anti-keylogger software and all that stuff. And I ended up finding out Amazon, bought it, tried it out. And, you know, I, I like it. I definitely like how it works. Easy to install. It runs in the background. No problems whatsoever. And as I just showed you, it really works. You know, it encrypts your info. And this is something I think everybody needs, especially in this day and age. I mean, just over the weekend, the whole world got hacked. Now, would Guarded ID protect you against ransomware? Probably not. If you want to get protected against ransomware, you should probably just update your Windows. Like, for real, though. I got Windows 10 and no problems. Now, that being said, if you want to pick yourself up a copy of your own software, check the description below because I've put a link to it. And Amazon actually has digital delivery, too, so you could be up and running in, you know, 15 minutes flat. So, thanks for stopping by, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.